Hey guys, Judy here. So this video will absolutely change your mind about how the future of blockchain is going to be and how soon that will happen. But before I even go any further, let's first see an interesting insight from Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, on what the future of Ethereum is going to be like. So Ethereum in 2032, you have a node, your node runs on your phone. Every 12 seconds or 32 seconds or whatever number we agree on, you download 3.6 megabytes of data, you hash it, you do a couple of uh, elliptic curve equations to check a snark, that's it. You know the block is valid. Wait 12 seconds, get 3.6 megabytes of data, hash it, do some elliptic curve operations, verify the snark, and valid. 12 seconds later, data, hash, elliptic curve check, valid, right? So the whole process just becomes incredibly sleek and uh, seamless to the point where like literally a phone could even do it, right? Because it's incredible light on computation. The only thing that it's heavy on is data. And data just happens to be the thing that, you know, phones are increasingly getting insanely good at and will get even better at over the next 10 years, right? So that to me is what I see the final goal being from a protocol standpoint. To be honest, that's a little bit crazy. But what if I told you something like that already is this? Gotcha. Now, let's talk about Mina. OpenMina is a web-based node built on top of Mina blockchain that has the ability to verify blocks through web browser. What that means is that you can now run a full node right from your mobile phone. That's crazy if you think about it. Now you may ask why is this even important? Don't worry, I'll answer you with just three features from OpenMina, which are security, flexibility and inclusivity. Let's start with inclusivity. What this means for the future of the entire blockchain is that a lot more people will now be able to participate in block verification, which makes the chain more transparent. Not only will this increase the number of participants, but also make the chain more decentralized and even more secure, which is the second feature of OpenMina. Now to the third feature, which is flexibility. No one needs to have a high specification computer to set up and run a node. Instead, you can do the same thing with any internet enabled device like your smartphone. And data won't be a problem because the MENA blockchain is packed into just 22 kilobytes and any phone can download that in just seconds. Let me quickly show you how this works. Alright, so the first thing I want to do for this demo is to show you my wallet and also show you my current balance. Currently, I have just 9 winner tokens and I'm going to also copy my wallet address so that I'll be able to make a transfer to this wallet in a few seconds. Next is to open my phone browser. You can use any phone browser of your choice for me. I like Safari, so I'm going to use Safari for this demo. Open openmina.com and click on launch web node. You're going to have to wait for your browser to get ready to verify blog and also for you to connect directly to Mina Network. After that, you can hit the continue button. Now, once you hit the continue button, you'll be taken to this page where you get to see infos about your web node, right? You see your current account, your current Mina balance. Please take note that this is currently on Berkeley testnet. This is not on mainnet, but the mainnet is currently in development. What I want to do is to transfer fund. So I'm going to hit the transfer fund button and I'm going to have to paste in the wallet address we copied earlier. Now replace it to my current wallet address. Now I'm on to send 30 minute token to that wallet and I'm going to have to enter it in the amount input. Remember this is testnet token, not mainnet token. 30 minute. Now I'm going to have to enter email with just to tag this transaction basically so I can remember whenever I come back to it. For this, I'm going to use demo since we are just doing a demo. I'm going to click on confirm transaction. This usually takes around four minutes to complete. So I'm going to skip to the end where the transaction is already completed. All right. Once the status changes to applied, now you can be sure that your transaction was successful. You can verify this by checking the Minout Block Explorer. Just click on the view in Block Explorer. You're going to see every details about this transaction. I think we should actually do this on the recipient side. Here we have received the transaction. We're just going to check transaction details and also going to click on query details for us to view every single detail about this transaction. And it's going to take us directly to berkeley.minaexplorer.com. Here we'll get to see every single details we need about this particular transaction. All right, just before you go, you can try this out yourself by going to openmina.com. I'll also put the link in the description. And with that, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.